Welcome to Ventry Synthetic Lubricants. Today we're going to do an oil change on my pickup. Uh, I've got a couple cool little tricks for you guys. Uh, check it out. So today we're going to change the oil on a 2002 Chevy Silverado 2500. It's got the 6.0 Vortec engine. So I saw this cool trick on a YouTube video where the guy puts a hole in the oil filter and drains the oil out of the filter prior to taking it off. This makes it a lot easier, a lot less messy. But before I go poking holes in my oil filter, I like to check and make sure I've got the right one. Just in case I ordered the wrong one or something like that. So I verify, same number, good to go. Alright. So while that's draining, I check my drain plug here for any metal shavings. I have a a metallic one or a, a magnetic one rather. So next I prep my oil filter. I'm going to fill the filter because it prevents a dry, dry start. So theoretically if your filter's empty and you start the vehicle, then you're not going to have any oiling in your bearings for the first couple seconds. I've always done it this way, some guys say you shouldn't, I've never had any problems. Also I've heard, so the, the way this works is your oil comes in here and then it comes out of here. I've heard guys say you need to plug the middle here and fill from the outside because the oil coming out of the container could be potentially contaminated. I don't know. I've never worried about that. I just fill it in the center. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So now we're going to put the drain plug back in. Of course the torque wrench doesn't fit. I generally try to use a torque wrench because I've ruined a lot of drain plugs in my day. Um, just make sure you don't over torque it. This one, the AMS oil website said 18 foot pounds. Just snug it up. Don't go crazy with it. They're a pain when you ruin them. So now for the oil filter. You can use a traditional oil filter wrench. Um, I can generally get them off by hand. But if you can't, you can take your screwdriver that you used earlier and you can punch it through like this so you punch that screwdriver through like that and then use the screwdriver to turn it off once you break it, break it loose it'll be real easy to get out And if it's really stuck, you can turn it about a quarter turn, put another hole in it, do the same thing again. So what we want to check for is to make sure that this gasket is here. 
sometimes it'll stick to the engine and then you'd have double gaskets and it wouldn't seal very well so I like to kind of clean up around here make sure there's not a lot of debris up there and one thing I forgot you're supposed to use fresh new oil but it's good to see it to lube this lip here helps the oil filter seal there and we're just gonna screw it back in we don't have to go crazy tight with this Of course, my hand's all oily, so I can't get a grip. But I like to just get her snug. When you go crazy tight with it, that's when you can't get it off. And now we're gonna fill it up. The Amsoil website says six quarts. I'm using Amsoil Signature Series 5W30. This stuff's good for 25,000 miles or one year. I change my oil once a year. Uh, the oil costs a little bit more, but it, in the end, it saves me a lot of money because I'm only doing one oil change as opposed to the three or four that I would normally do. Some guys aren't comfortable with this, but I've done it with multiple vehicles and I haven't had any problem. So after all our six quarts drain, um, we're gonna put the cap back on. We'll fire her up and go down below, check for any leaks. And then we'll, we'll run it till it gets warm and then shut it down, give it a couple minutes, maybe five minutes, uh, and we'll check the oil level, see where it's at. So of course, since I was trying to make a video, I made a huge mess, but it gives me a chance to give you guys another tip. Uh, if you spill oil on the floor, just use kitty litter. Put it on there, and then the next morning, you can sweep it up and it'll soak up most of the oil. So there it is, I spread it on there, and then we'll check it tomorrow morning. We'll sweep it all up and see what we're left with. So this is about a day later, after I had the kitty litter on there for about 24 hours. Most of it's gone, as you can see. Okay, so now we're gonna reset the oil change light. We'll turn the key to the on position without starting it. And we'll push the gas pedal three times within five seconds. Then our oil light will flash for five seconds, and that says that it's done. So I'll turn it off, turn it back on, and we'll see that it doesn't come on. Okay, I know that was rough, but with practice, I promise I'm gonna get better. So to summarize, uh, the first thing that you're gonna do is go to my website and look up what you need how much of it you need and get your torque for your drain plug. If you didn't catch that video, that was my last video. I'll put a link to that in the description. Next thing you're going to do is gather your tools, your fluids, all the stuff that you're going to need. Next thing you want to do is run the vehicle. It's important that you run the vehicle because when the oil is uh, circulating and warm, then it's gonna hold all of the contaminants, anything that's in the oil, it's gonna carry it, it's gonna suspend it. So then when you drain it, it will drain with it. If you don't, then that sludge, whatever, is gonna sit in the bottom of the pan, and when you put the new oil in, it's gonna mix in with the new oil. So it's very important that you warm the vehicle up. So after you warm it up, uh, drain, your, drain or remove your filter. Of course, it didn't work because I was trying to make a video, but usually it works great. You put that hole in there, um, and then you let it drain while you're getting everything else ready. Uh, 
then you're gonna drain your drain your drain plug. Now while my while my oil's draining, uh, I check my drain plug. I always use the magnetic ones. Um, I'll put a link in the description uh, if you guys want to pick them up. They're like six bucks. There's it it does a couple things for you. The main thing is that if there is anything floating around in your in your oil pan that's metallic, uh, it's gonna stick to that drain plug. Then it's not circulating through your engine and causing damage. The other thing that it's gonna do is when you pull it out, if it has something on there, then you know that you have a problem that you need to look into. So after that's done draining, or while that's draining, I, I check my drain plug and then I prep my oil filter. Fill the oil filter. I don't some people say that you don't need to and I don't understand that. If you don't fill the oil filter, then for that those few seconds while the oil is being pumped into the filter, then your oil pump will run dry for those few seconds. Then in turn, your bearings will run dry for a few seconds. That could potentially cause damage. So I always fill it. I don't know why some people say that you shouldn't. Then you want to lube that, that O-ring and make sure that you got the old O-ring off so that you don't double o-ring it, then it won't seal. Uh, putting the oil on there will keep that seal soft and it will, uh, it'll seal better. So then we'll put those back on. I always recommend torquing the drain plug. My torque wrench didn't fit and I didn't have a crow's foot. Um, the, the reason I recommend torquing it is you don't wanna strip it out. Uh, trust me, I have been there where I strip out the oil pan I need to go get the tap and the vehicle that I need to take to go get the tap doesn't have any oil in it. You don't want to be there. So don't go crazy with the torque. I recommend torquing it, but it's it's definitely not necessary. So once everything's done down below, then you're going to go up and top it up. Again, uh, check my website for the recommendation. It doesn't steer you wrong. You want to make sure that you put enough oil in, but you also don't want to put too much in. Too much can can be uh, more hazardous than not enough because um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the videos where they drop things from high distances and they reach certain speed and then they hit water and it's like hitting concrete your oil level can do the same thing if you fill that too full you've got your rotating assembly it's spinning as fast as whatever your RPMs are reading right and if your oil is too full then it's gonna smack into that oil potentially causing damage so you want to make sure that that's pretty well accurate and you can get that that number from uh, my website so after you got it filled up topped up uh, run the vehicle and get under there make sure that uh, make sure that you don't have any leaks check your drain plug and check your your oil filter uh, I usually let it, let it run up to run up to operating temperature um, so that it, the oil gets into everywhere that it's supposed to get into and then shut it off I give it about 10 minutes so that it all can it can all drain back down in the oil pan and I can get an accurate reading to check it. Then next you want to reset your change oil indicator. Just Google it. Everyone's a little bit different. That one's going to work for um, GM pickups of about the, that year. Uh, but all the procedures, they're a little bit different. You can always Google them and, and figure that out. Uh, and then if you make a giant mess like I did, use the kitty litter. It, it works great. Uh, I learned that a long time ago when I was a kid. Uh, I think my dad showed me that. It works great. Um, picks that stuff right up and it's almost like it wasn't even there. Then the last step is to forget about it for a year because you used Amsoil Signature Series. No, but honestly, do the math. Um, figure out how much is it costing you to do those three to four oil changes a year with uh, cheap oil and then go on my website and check out what the signature series is going to cost you it's almost always going to be cheaper unless you're using some like crazy dirt cheap stuff um, and, and it's also it's better for the environment because we're using less oil we're taking less oil to be recycled if you know if that's something that's important to you it's a little thing to do your part so let me know if you guys have any cool tricks or uh, little trade secrets. I'm always looking to learn. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website and my Facebook page. I'll have them linked in the description, and we'll see you next time.